Hello, my purposeful family of God. Are you doing? Hope you are doing fine. So God wants me to share this important message and testimony with you. So I'm currently living with a particular housemate. Hmm. Like I have my room, she has a room, but we share a bathroom. Hmm. So this girl is always messing with my stuff. Like I'll put my bucket there. She will put it somewhere else. My sponge, my brush, put it somewhere else. <laughs> then I'll put it back in position and she changes it again. Wow. Then I realized I was getting frustrated. I was losing focus on God. <laughs> All I think about is how to deal with this girl. <laughs> then I realized something. <laughs> Instead of me writing God's book, <laughs> I am thinking about this girl. So God advised me to take away everything that belongs to me in the bathroom and keep it in my room. Because hmm. I'm living with a cycle. <laughs> so that she will not graduate and start putting stuff in my hair cream, toothpaste, brush, bucket, sponge. I mean, you have to be very careful. Like this is not fear, this is wisdom. Hmm. God's wisdom. Like when you are living with a cycle, hmm, you've got a book to write. Keep all your bathroom stuff in your room. Then write your book. <laughs> you know it's safer there. Because you don't want to wake up. And you see your hair cream is showing on that color. Or your toothbrush is smelling like shit. <laughs> or I'm itching because she put something in my sponge. <laughs> like she's capable of bad things. Like she can do anything to my things. Almost. So I removed all my stuff. Then kept on writing God's book. <laughs> Like, who is winning? She thinks she's winning. Mm. And she's thinking, yeah, I got her to remove all her stuff from the bathroom. Mm. No fool, you are losing. Yes. I am here writing God's book. You are there fighting for bathroom. <laughs> it's the bathroom. <laughs> I will write God's book and be a blessing. Like, how can fighting for bathroom help your life? <laughs> Not some battles, you leave it to God. Some other battles, God will say, this one is worth fighting for. Bathroom battle, God said, stay away. Book battle, mm -hmm. God said, this is worth fighting for. Hmm. It's worth the battle. So the battle of turning off the TV and writing that book, the battle of sleeping early so you can wake up early and write that book before going to work, hmm. is worth the fight. So my housemate is so so crazy like one day i sat down with god and I, on this issue and god revealed something to me hmm. he said this lady hmm, suddenly acting strange hmm. why what happened and god revealed that it's because i'm making progress in the things of god the devil entered into her to distract me suddenly she started messing with my things in the bathroom why because when you are in alignment with god all hell will start breaking loose like i'm writing god's book then this lady started acting strange like i got mad like i wanted to continue the bathroom issue with her but god suddenly told me fighting with her will distract me from writing his book the time i will use to try to win the battle of the bathroom as she used it, as she used it to win the battle of writing God's book. Power of silence. Like seriously, we are wise when we keep quiet and focus on God's purpose. God will defend us. Like the power of silence, like silence is no weakness. Silence is strength. Especially when it is God telling you to be silent. Like he will undo her. Like when God undoes people that are distracting you. Hmm, hmm, he seriously undoes them. Like all of a sudden, things will not go well with them. You start to pity them. God is like, no, 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 don't pity them. I'm teaching her not to distract you again. God knows how to handle people that are distracting you. When God says we handle it, he will seriously handle it. Hmm. That you start to pity them. God is seriously a defender. Remember Moses in the Bible? His sister was talking trash about Moses. God gave her leprosy. Hmm. God defended Moses. Hmm. 
person. Remember um, Joseph in the Bible? God tormented Joseph's brothers. Like anytime they had issues, they would start saying, ah, it's because of what we did to Joseph. <laughs> God is a God of justice. My housemate is messing with me. Oh, she just made a terrible mistake. Because God will make sure our life is turned upside down. Like she realized, oh, it's because I messed with Thai stuff in the bathroom. Yeah. So when God deals with people, he deals with them. As for you, just be silent as God advised you. So focus on writing that book. Focus on sharing God's word. Focus on doing what God says you should do. God will handle that devil. God will handle that devil that entered her. That devil that is using her. <laughs> God will handle them. Because he says so. So seriously, what is distracting you from God's purpose? God has given you a vision on what to do with your life. Then somebody you are living with starts acting crazy. And you can't focus on God's vision, God's purpose. Huh. It's the devil that is using them to distract you. Immediately you notice that you are getting distracted. Run to God. Ask him how to handle that situation. For my housemate, keeping my stuff in my room is the best. Like now, she's not messing with my stuff. Like, guess what she's doing? <laughs> she's messing with her stuff. Like, she put a sponge here one day. On that day, she put it in another place. She thinks she's frustrating me. No, 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 girl. Do whatever you want with your stuff. I don't care. I go into the bathroom. I take away my eyes on whatever arrangement she did. With a sponge, soap, shampoo. I don't care. Talking about shampoo. Oh, my God. This girl washes her hair every day. When taking a shower. <laughs> Are you serious? Like, the bathroom is so slippery. <laughs> I put a bath mat in the bathroom so I don't fall. Guess what? Instead of her to remove the bath mat before she washes her hair, hmm, she washes her hair on my bath mat. Hmm. Then when I want to have my bath, the bath mat is so slippery. Oh my goodness. God advised me to stop putting my bath mat there. So when I want to shower, I wash the bathroom to make sure it's not slippery. Then I put my bath mat and take a shower. Hmm. The struggle is real. So you have to do what you got to do to get you living in this house. Hmm. Like I told God, God, I want to leave this house. And God said, it's not your time. God has a reason for putting me there. Hmm. God said, when it is his time, he will take me out of the house. But right now, let us pass this test together. Hmm. God is training me. Hmm. It's God is teaching me how to avoid people that irritate me, frustrate me, you know. Like, it's a test. Like, sometimes God will say talk. Another time, God will say be silent. Like, I will handle this. Like, what is God telling you about your situation? As for me, he's telling me to ignore her. So, I can use my time to focus on my book. Like, we have limited time. Like, when you go to work and come back home. When we have time for God's purpose, God's ministry, like I work 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. When I come home, I take a nap, then work on God's book, God's ministry. I don't have time for rubbish. Like when I enter the bathroom, hmm, she has disarranged it to make me lose focus. Hmm, I ignore the rubbish, like I pee, shit, shower, and get out. I And focus on God's book. Like I got no time for rubbish. Like I got a book to write. I got a devil to fight. I got a sermon to preach. I got people to save with God's help. The only time I have is for Holy Spirit. The little time I have after I get back from work is to spend time with God. My weekend, I relax and catch up with the things of God. Yes, I did not come to this world to work and just get a degree. I came to this world for God. I came here. To be everything God created me to be. I got no time for ultimate bullshit. I got time for God. My time is for God and no one else. We continue the next video.